All right, guys, so it took a very long time for your boy to finally get it done, but physical Vegito Blue is now going to be rainbowed. Uh, even though this is a unit who I maybe won't use as much, you know, because, you know, I do have LR Vegito Blue, obviously, like everyone, and then, of course, I do also have the Tech Vegito Blue uh, rainbowed as well, but, you know, physical Vegito Blue, his arrival in Dokkan, along with AGL Rosé, is what many consider the golden age of the game. Personally, I think we're in the golden age right now because never before has Vilcon ever been more free-to-play friendly, I would say. Uh, it, it's very easy. There's lots of good free-to-play units being handed out. You know, think about it. If you pulled Super Saiyan 4 Goku from the, two year in, from the second year anniversary, his team is still good enough to get through every event in the game. The power creep from when Super Saiyan 4 Goku came out until now has not been, like, unbelievably crazy. Like, you know, just look at it. You know, the new transforming Goku and Frieza, like, their passive is not, like, unbelievably crazier than Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? You know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku does 150%. And, you know, the, the Frieza and the Transforming Goku, in their, like, first form, they're still down at, what, 80%? So, it does go to show that as Super Saiyan 4 Goku, like, was a big, you know, kind of turning point in the game. And thus, like, we've been in this era for a long time now of where it's very easy to sort of, you know, how do I say, complete events and stuff, right? while being free to play because like even look at the new piccolo the new extreme z wagon piccolo we just got is another incredible free to play unit so anyway back to vegeto blue let's go ahead and test them out uh i think at rainbow level the physical vegeto blue is very very good uh he's one of those units who like his like power doubles from getting dupes because it helps so much with the way he can get counters uh he can get crits it's all just wrapped up into a very powerful package uh, so definitely shout out to Physical Vegeta Blue. Plus, he also does have Prepare for Battle and Over in a Flash, which is very, very helpful. All right, guys. So it's been a little bit since I recorded the first part of this video. And by a little bit, I mean like five or six months. Uh, but I actually, you know, I was going through the comments and I saw someone said, still waiting on that Vegito Blue, the rainbow Physical Vegito Blue video. And I was like, huh, okay, yeah, he's right. So here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see how well Physical Vegito Blue can be at Rainbow. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into an event. Now, uh, I have seen a lot of numbers on like the Dokkan subreddit and stuff. Uh, and according to the numbers that I have seen, uh, Physical Vegito Blue actually should be able to out-damage uh, LR Vegito Blue. I believe when Physical Vegito Blue has three dupes in him. Uh... Although, you know, the defense is a big part of why I would probably still prefer to run LR Vegito Blue over the Physical Vegito Blue. Uh, but Physical Vegito Blue is just, like, he, when he arrived on Dokkan, that was, like, the hype, the fun, that was a really, really great time in Dokkan history. Uh, the Physical Vegito Blue and AGL Rosé banners, you know, those two, the hero and the villain team at the time were so much fun. Physical Vegito Blue was awesome. I remember when I first started playing um, Global. See, I always tell people to save and save and save. And people go, look at this. The biggest whale telling us to save. He has no idea what it's like to be a free-to-play player. And it's like, well, I sort of was. Like, <laughs> back in the day, I summoned for AGL Super Vegito on Global. Uh, I actually re-rolled for him. And then I did not summon until Physical Vegito Blue came out. What, like six or seven months later? Like, that's, uh, you know, I, I once upon a time, I did that as well. Um, okay, okay, here's what we're going to do. All right, so, Physical Vegito Blue, right? Obviously, nowadays, you know, he has aged a little bit uh, to the point where I would actually even say I would probably prefer uh, the AGL Rosé unit over Physical Vegito Blue. But Physical Vegito Blue is still incredibly powerful and is still capable of helping out. You know, in, say, EZA events, uh, Super Battle Road, uh, Dokkan Battlefield, he's still going to be a fabulous unit. Uh, because, you know, he does have all the additional attacks. He does all the counters. Like, Physical Vegito Blue can really rack up damage. Like, at a time, like, the damage he could rack up was rare. Like, he was a big dog, right? So, like, nowadays, obviously not quite as much, you know, as he once was. But he's still pretty damn good. 
Um, hmm. See, okay. The rotation I want to get for Vegito Blue here to try to see, like, you know, his max... I don't want to call it his max potential, but probably his best rotation uh, is actually that physical Super Vegito linked up with him because they'll have Super Saiyan, Power Bestowed by God, and Fierce Battle, which would be good. Uh, and then this AGL West Kai, she buffs... Uh, uh, what's it called? Realm of Gods units. I actually kind of... Mm, let, let's 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 have Vegito Blue. Nah, okay, okay. I'm gonna put a AGL West Kai or yeah, AGL West. No, yeah, AGL West Kai first, uh, and then just be so that like this rotation works out a little better. Because uh, obviously, you know, her lack of links with the other units uh, does hurt a little bit. Although I did want to show off, you know, Vegito Blue's ability to counter. Uh, we'll we'll save that for the next rotation. So is that one million? Damn. What? Okay, that's a lot better than I was thinking. Okay. My boy Vegito Blue showing out with a 1 million attack stat. Whoa. Okay. I guess, yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely have probably underrated him. That was quite good. Uh, again, 1 million? Like, here's the thing about Vegito Blue. Uh, Vegito Blue doesn't have any sort of attack buff at all. Like, that 1 million... Like, yeah, he had, a, you know, the 40% support from AGL West Kai. But that's still all natural. Like... There's no attack buff in his super. There's no attack buff in his passive. Like, that's that's very impressive for him to get to 1 million and still have all those additional attacks and stuff going. So, you know, this physical Vegito Blue, even after all this time, he certainly can still be helpful. Like, he's definitely not a bad unit. He is no slouch. Uh, that was pretty good. I, that was impressive right there. But now, yes, now... We're going to get a slightly better turn. Okay, I'm going to have physical Super Vegito Super first. That'll give uh, Vegito Blue a little extra damage. Just a little bit extra punch to help him look good. Because I feel like I've... I got a... My boy physical Vegito Blue, how I've disrespected him. That was very good. <laughs> All right, so let's let Vegito Blue go ahead and slide in those cheeks, Goku. All right, now, if Vegito Blue wanted to, like really be cool we could get like three or four super attacks that would be nice uh okay so super saiyan 4 goku's gonna super uh super vegito not really a big deal all right so vegito blue what are you gonna bring to the table my boy show us what you got uh between his attack stat the additionals the counters 1.1 million but then we got a whole bunch of attacks more okay it's only a normal that's fine oh he only gave you two 200,000 attacks. He did 600k on a crit. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So we got a bit. Of <laughs> we got a bit unlucky there in that he only did two attacks. That's very rare. Uh, I'm pretty sure his first additional has a 100% chance to activate. Uh, I remember I read that uh, on the subreddit one time. Someone had data mined uh, what the numbers were, what the percent chances were for. Uh, a lot of different things to activate, right? That's when we learned Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta had the true 70% chance to dodge and counter super, stuff like that. Uh, and I believe Vegito Blue, both Vegito Blues, uh, their first uh, additional is a 100% chance. And then, you know, uh, Vegito Blue's passive is written as great chance. So his second additional is probably a 70% chance. Uh, all in all, that's good. You know, it would lead to him being, you know, still very strong. Um, okay, so we'll do this. Eh, nah, because I wanna, I wanna give uh, uh, LR Super Vegito right over here some key as well. So, all right, how about this rotation? Let's see how the two Vegitos can do. Like, this is still, th this is why people go so crazy for the Patara team, by the way, because like, you know, all of these counter units, these units that build up strength, the Vegito units, like they're all so good, and like, you know, you can even, you could use AGL Super Vu. Uh, you can use AGL Super Vegito. You could use Physical Vegito Blue. Like, the old variations of these units, they're still so damn powerful, right? Even AGL Rose Goku Black. If you don't have SCR Rose, you're fine. Like, AGL Rose is still a monster. So that's, you know, just one reason why Patara is just so devastating. Like, I rarely ever use it. One reason for that is because, like, it's very rare that new units come to the Patara team, right? Nowadays... Like, I, I pretty much, what I'll do... Okay, so we're still going to get the counter. Yeah, you always get the counter on dodges still. 
Uh, what I do pretty much nowadays is I'm only really using teams I'm showcasing units off on, even like when I'm grinding like outside. Or I would say really more like, you know, the, so I'm using the LR Super Saiyan 4 teams a lot right now, so they're brand new, right? So like typically that's what I'll do. Like when Int Goku Black came out, I was using the Time Traveler team a lot. Obviously it's new, you know, kind of testing it out, seeing how certain units work. But I never get a chance to really use Patara just because of the fact that the category is so small and new units never come out, right? So, I, you know, I'm still hoping, you know, we'll get that LR Kefla or something at some point and we could bust out the Patara team again. But that was very impressive. That, that does just go back to show, like, the Patara team, you know, Physical Vegito Blue, AGL Super Vegito, all those units still just damn good, man. The counters, the supers, the additionals, just a roulette of pain. It's what Physical Vegito Blue can bring out. So, such an awesome unit, man. Again, like when him and AGL Rose dropped, woo! Was that ever hype? So, let's go ahead and take a look at what our boy, the Physical uh, Vegito Blue, has to offer. Alright, so this is Azure Omnipotence uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Uh, obviously, I have heard that reference that this Vegito is referred to as omnipotent in a lot. Like, I've seen that in, like, debate videos, you know, set the program where I remember has referenced that before. You know, v Vegito in Dokkan has this name. Like, I really feel like the Dokkan, like, the translators, they probably went a bit overboard by calling him omnipotent, but whatever. It's, <laughs> it's well, actually, I, don't, I actually don't even know if the Japanese name is the same. I suppose it could be, but usually uh, the Dokkan, like the official Dokkan translations are usually quite different, really, uh, in stuff like that from what like kind of the community translators like Goresh and stuff provide for us, right? Uh, so this Vegito Blue, his leader skill is super class key three, HP attack and defense 50%. Again, back in the day, this was one of the most fun teams around. Obviously, nowadays, not really so good. Even in Dokkan Battlefield, I don't know how much I like it. I mean, you're going to be able to find, you know, newer units have, like, way better leader skills, but just for, like, certain types, right? So he could be useful, I suppose. Uh, still powerful, though. Uh, his super attack is the final Kamehameha, which does immense damage to the enemy. His passive skill, Unfathomable Speed, is great chance to launch up the two additionals. Again, the first additional is a 100% chance, uh, and the second one, I believe, is a 70% chance to happen. Uh, and then each of them has a chance to become a super attack. Now, I believe for this Vegito Blue, uh, each of his super attacks, like, okay, so those additionals have a 10% chance to be a super, uh, both of his additionals. I think uh, Physical Omega and Physical Final Form Cooler have the same percent chance, the 10% chance that those uh, normals do become super attacks. Uh, and then he also reduces damage received from normal attacks by 30%, and he counters with tremendous power. So Vegito Blue does do a lot. He's very good. Uh, he's just an overall very powerful unit still, I see. Uh, his links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepared for Battle, Power Besoap by God, Fuse Fighter, Over in a Flash, and Fierce Battle. Just a absolutely beautiful link set. This is one thing they did not carry over to Tech Vegito Blue, which was so stupid. Still, in my opinion, so stupid. I guess they were just scared that Tech Vegito Blue would have been the best unit ever. Which, honestly, if they had just slapped Prepare for Battle on Tech Vegito Blue, he becomes just the dominator of Dokkan. For, he would, he would like, <laughs> if he had Prepare for Battle, that Tech Vegito Blue would be insane. Like, just that extra two key is a big deal. But this Physical Vegito Blue, like, those links, those are really good links, man. Uh, his 12 key multiplier is 150%, of course. You know, that's the baseline for all very powerful units. Uh, and our boy here is actually on four categories. Uh, he, he could work very fine on all four, of course. Uh, he's here on the Time Traveler category, of course, as all the Vegito Blues are. Uh, he is also over here on the Realm of Gods team. Uh, that's where, you know, I pulled AGL West Kai, you know, to kind of show how good uh, Vegito Blue can be. Although, you know, you could just use the Supreme Kai of Time in that slot on the Patara team instead. Uh, either will work fine. Uh, then he is, of course, also on the Patara team, which, you know, still looks as though it's really... Like, the, the Patara team is at minimum, I would say, a top five team. 
more than likely, I, I think Patara might still be the best team in the game. It, it's very it's very up there. Like it just <laughs> all the like Goku Black units, the Vegito Blue units, like they're just very strong. Uh, and then the last team he's on is the Future Team, where you know he's a good unit, but I just don't. I'm not a fan of the Future Team. Uh, one thing they really need is a better support type unit for that Future Team. That would really help out a lot. But there we go, guys. There is Physical Vegito Blue. Uh, Mr. Azure Omnipotence himself. Very, very good even to this day. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.